So applying to college can be an awful experience. Now, son, keep in mind that the decisions you make right now will affect you for the rest of your life. Try not to let it stress you out. Now, son, I know your GPA isn't the highest and your extracurriculars aren't the greatest, but look on the bright side. The community college has guaranteed acceptance. Now, son, I know it's your dream school, but I'm not wasting $75 on a rejection letter. Now, son, I'm not going to pay for you to study something that you aren't going to make any money in. So, in other words, you can either give up on all your hopes and dreams now, like a man, or wait four years until you're flipping burgers to pay off your archaeology degree. If you really enjoy studying old relics that used to be fun, or at least moderately interesting, you can go stare at your mother. That was my dad if we were a rich white family from the 50s, and I were really stupid. Well, one of those might be true, but it's like my mom always says. Even if everyone thinks you're stupid, it's still technically an opinion. Like I was saying, the college application process can be tough. I mean, first of all, the application itself is just flat out scary. I mean, if you mess up, it's fraud. They will kill you. Okay, maybe they won't kill you, but they put some scary-ass warnings at the end of that application. By submitting this application, you agree that all of the aforementioned statements are truthful. If it is discovered that any of these statements are false, we will eat your dog. I think I'm going to check my work on this one. So next, you have to find a teacher who's willing to recommend you. Basically, just find anybody who's not willing to crush your spirits and dreams right in front of your face. But the tricky part is, teachers generally hide the fact that they hate you unless you ask them for a favor, so... Bring a friend to get it on video, could be fun. And of course, on top of all that, you need your standardized tests, because even if you're majoring in art history, the only thing that really matters is English and math. And then finally, you have your essay, which honestly is the hardest part. I don't know how some people answer these questions. Explain how you overcome social adversity every day as a minority. Okay, I guess that one doesn't really hit my demographic. Explain how you've overcome the challenge of immigrating to America. Okay, I guess I have to do the last one. Illustrate the challenges you face learning English as a second language. Alright, I guess for some reason they think I'm an immigrant. Oh no, oh, they're gonna eat my dog. Alright you guys, thank you for watching to the end of this video. Please like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with all your friends. It helps me, it doesn't really help you, but you know, just do it.